Hi, I'm Dave Barney. I'm the product manager for our TV attribution product. And I'm here today with David Murphy, our TV attribution global product expert. Today we're going to walk you through the TV attribution overview report. Cool, thanks Dave. Um, so this report is here to give you an overview of your TV performance, and we, which will lead to some interesting insights. So let's dive in. Okay, so on the front page uh, of this report, you can see the high level metrics pertaining to your TV campaign. The number of impressions ran, the cost, how many networks it ran on, and a number of unique creatives, all for a particular date range, which you can control up here. You can either do your own de um, like specific ones, or you can use some default date ranges up here. So on the first report you see, this is your attributed traffic broken out by different channels. So your organic, direct and paid channels. This is really interesting to provide insight on how people are getting to your website from your TV ads. In this example, it looks like two thirds are coming from either organic or paid search. And, and a smaller portion is coming from direct traffic. This may be right in line with your strategy in driving people to search for your brand, but if your call to action is to visit a specific URL and come directly to your website, then this may be something you wanna look at. Great. So the next page we see here is the attributed traffic from your TV spot campaigns um, broken out by device type, um, which are desktop, mobile, and tablet. And also we then break things out further by the baseline, but also the TV attributed visits driven by your campaigns. So the baseline, if you went into Google Analytics and just looked at the website tra or the device breakdown of your website traffic, you would basically see what you see in the light blue here, that most of your traffic is coming from desktop. But if you look at the dark blue, it tells a totally different story. The dark blue is the traffic that's coming from your TV ads and you see most of it's mobile, which is basically that second screen effect of people watching TV with the device in their hand. Great. Okay, we'll move on and we'll suddenly start looking at the attributed search uplift driven by your campaigns. And here we break things out by the keyword bucket. So here we can see brand, product, messaging, creative messaging, and competitor keyword terms. Yeah, this is, this is also, this is one of the best features of the product because it highlights the Google search data that's integrated in this product. And it's basically, how are people responding to my TV ads through search? And here you see that about half of the traffic is coming from branded search, and other people are searching for featured products, but there may even be some people searching for competitive terms. And so this can really give you an insight into how people are responding. In this case, it looks like they're doing a pretty good job, but maybe people are searching for your category or competitive terms in larger portions than you hoped, and this can, this can alert you to that. Cool. Okay, we'll move on to the final piece of this report, where we look at the search query um, breakdown by device again. So your desktop, mobile, tablet, similar to the attribute of visit report, but for search queries. Right, and, and thanks for walking us through that, Dave. That's a quick overview of the overview report. And thanks for watching. If for more information, you can click on the link in the description below.